Hello, everyone. Uh, are you content with the current methods of content type attacks? We would like to talk about a new attack vector for browsers using the content type. If an unexpected path exists for danger to enter your protected area, uh, what do you do? Perhaps like Attack on Titan. We discovered an unexpected attack vector in, uh, in browsers. This attack path can lead to several vulnerabilities, a uh, big one being XSS. Oh, now on to self-introductions. I'm Eiji Mori. Please call me A. I take care of uh, web penetration testing and smartphone penetration testing at the Japanese cybersecurity company, Frost Security. Hi, I'm Norihide Saito, but please call me Azara. I take care of web penetration testing and cloud penetration testing, uh, and also Frost Security INC. Okay, here. Here's today's table of contents. Yeah, first, we'll explain content type. Next, we'll explain uh, the old attack vectors and show how HTTP responses were difficult to change. After that, we will show how the new attack vector we discovered makes it easier to change HTTP responses. Then we will show some deficiencies with some uh, with bug bounty programs and OSS using this attack pass. Finally, we will present the mitigations. Okay, now let's start. Uh, start by explaining what content type is. Content type is one HTTP response head does. That indicate uh, the type uh, type of data being transferred. This allows web browser to uh, correctly recognize the data type and process it appro appropriately. For example, content type image slash PNG is interpreted an uh, image in PNG format. And another, uh, another example, content type text slash HTML is interpreted as an HTML document. But can the HTTP response content type really be, really be trusted? To illustrate it, uh, whether the HTTP response content type can be trusted. Let's, uh, let's as a first review the old attack pass. Until now, it has been difficult to change the HTTP response content type. This is because in order to include malicious data in in the content type, uh, the malicious content type must be included uh, with a file that in, is uh, being uploaded. Under the middleware and application validation, uh, validate the file. For example, file extension, content type, and magic byte. And the application returns a validate error. Okay. However, with the preferential of AWS and another cloud services, uh, the file upload mechanism itself has uh, itself changed. Oh, sorry. The change in the mechanism includes how the HTTP response content type is handled. Recently, object storage emerged and is incre increasing being used, uh, used to upload, file, upload files. Uh, object consists of binary data and metadata. 
And the object uh, can be made to store content type as metadata. Now, now it's easy to change the uh, HTTP response content type. This is an unexpected attack path for browsers. This example is an approach to object storage. This is because SDKs are used to upload file to uh, object storage. However, for some reason, uh, developers uh, tend, tend to forget uh, about content type validation itself which they should have done before, uh, perhaps, because they think the, that the SDK uh, will do it for them. An arbitrary content type file is uploaded. As a result, arbitrary content types uh, can be uh, stored in object storage as metadata. Okay. Okay, um, we believe that many developers are aware that they could specify uh, any content type as metadata in object storage, and that they trusted the HTTP response content type unconditionally. We then searched for this vulnerability in bug bounty program and OSS. We investigated uh, one bug bounty program and uh, found, uh, found one uh, unverified S3. It called XSS. Though we couldn't escalate it into a more critical exploit, uh, we, had, um, uh, we had verified over 100 products. But other, th other than one all were uh, either not using S3 or had an accurate verification. We suspect the reason for this is that companies that do bug bounties generally do not benefit uh, from using microservices like S3. So we decide to investigate the OSS. Let's take a look at uh, the result. We did a simple code search. We set the language to JavaScript or TypeScript and set the di uh, directory to be under source slash. We got over 4,000 hits. Although we only looked at well-known products as expected, most of them had no validation or lax validation. Now, um, it's a pattern of uh, validation bypass or no validation pattern, but uh, it's uh, all calls uh, presented here after were dummy code. Okay, it's uh, uh, in HTTP response. The server has no validation in HTTP request. Okay, um, in one product, the content type received from the browser on the server side was passed directly to the object storage. As a result, any content type could be specified in the HTTP response, although this is a simple implementation in terms of code. We had encountered many search patterns. This enables XSS. For example, the MIME type is a uh, uh, content type and the uh, uh, put object uh, like a, a directory. Mm -hmm. And another example, it was just barely okay with web application firewall where uh, there is a potential danger. This is because the validation is front-end only. So the validation can be easily be bypassed using proxies such as Bob Street. 
since the content type of the HTTP response is not vali validated, there is a possibility of XSS in the future. If object storage is specified as uh, the fetching destination, for example, you can upload text slash HTML. It calls XSS. Next, um, in HTTP response, the server has no validation in HTTP response uh, from especially S3. Here is an example from a VS Code extension, which may allow uh, RCE from XSS uh, depending on the configuration. Uh, why there are actually no problems in a practice currently. This product uses HTTP response content type as is, so there does exist a lurking problem. If object storage could be specified in the future, um, XSS to RCE could be possible. In this code, content type of HTTP response is used unconditionally. For example, um, response.headers.get content type directory. So um, if get uh, uh, text slash HTML, it calls XSS. Next, um, validation bypass pattern in HTTP request. Even if there are validations using content type string where a malicious file is uploaded. They are often easily bypassed due to a lax validation, such as starts with, ends with, and the resix uh, in cruise. You can see the document uh, presented at B-Size Tokyo. For more information on this bypass technique, um, let's look at a bypass technique example. Carrier Wave is most famous file upload library on Ruby on Rails. Carrier Wave had a program uh, with the content type rest selection logic that could be uh, bypassed. So any content type could be specified in the HTTP response. This vulnerability has been fixed at this time. Okay. Um, uh, this is a allow list for content type. For example, uh, you can see uh, image slash JPEG and image slash PNG only. And uh, this is a logic to generate a regular expression based on that allow list. A carrier wave a content uh, connect the two calls. In other words, a content type regular expression is generated from the final allow list. However, this can be bypassed as we, uh, we have just shown. For example, you can bypass image slash PNG, comma, text slash HTML. Next, uh, in HTTP, response. Even if there are validations using content type string where a malicious file is downloaded, especially S3, from S3, they are, they are often easily bypassed due to lax validations. Here is an example from Electron. Electron may be XSS to RCE capable um, depending on the configuration. In this product, XSS was at least possible due to the lax content type validation of the HTTP response. For example, the validation have a content type dot start with image. So you can bypass image slash PNG comma text slash HTML. 
This is an example uh, from a Chrome extension. XSS in the Chrome extension has stronger permissions than normal XSS. It was just barely okay uh, and has no problem, but there is a potential danger. It can bypass text slash HTML semicolon PDF. Due to the lax uh, determination of PDF in the HTTP response content type. Uh, that is, um, you can have HTML render that uh, looks like a PDF, uh, which may be a hit if you have a PDF sniffer turned on. For example, the validation is content type dot ends with PDF. So you can bypass uh, text slash HTML semicolon PDF. So then, the question of course is, how can we mitigate this problem? Be sure to verify the content type value with an exact match to see if it is the intended value. For example, the content type string equal to um, image slash ping or image slash JPEG. In addition, do not unconditionally trust the content type of the HTTP response, but verify it with an exact match. Thank you very much for listening to our talk. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, here are references for those uh, who are interested. Yeah, and the S3 and the content type research and the carrier wave CVE. And um, if you would like to see the slides on your phone, please access the QR code here. And that's it. Uh, thank you. If you have uh, any questions, um, I uh, we are uh, we remind the, in a few minutes. Or uh, please uh, ask us, ask 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 us. Oops. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, thank you for a great presentation. Could you please go back to slide 75, I think, where you had two content types? Uh, 75, sorry. 75. Okay. Uh, it's too uh, far. 75. 75, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, one back? I went back, okay. Oh. Now, so when the browser, uh, yeah. when the browser sees uh, text slash HTML uh, semicolon PDF, mm. are you saying that um, the document's going to be treated mm -hmm. as uh, text HTML and mm -hmm. the PDF part's going to be ignored? Did uh, you test that? Uh, it, uh, um, uh, it's uh, yeah, like, uh, you mean uh, it's uh, like, uh, like a weird content type? Mean, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, it's a weird uh, content type value, but uh, uh, object storage can, uh, yeah. Obvious storage can uh, set it, set up this uh, uh, content type as uh, uh, metadata. Okay, mm. uh, but uh, do do you know what's going to happen when browser will mm. see this? Will it render the document as text HTML? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Th thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.